first time I really changed as an 18-year-old when I looked into the eyes of a Russian soldier in Vienna in 1955. And all of a sudden I recognized this person isn't the, the devil that I was told. He's a kid like me. We don't, uh, we don't want violence, so like peace is all we wanted, like, so we can make this earth a better place. I joined the peace because my brother got murdered in the Bowery Street shelter September the 1st. I watched children get shot, 17 years old, not having a life to live. What do we need? We need peace and we need it now. Australia and the Philippines. To Scotland and to Belgium. To Myanmar. One march can't uh, change uh, anything, but it takes people constantly working to change things, and that's why this is just part of a general movement. A caravan to Africa, the borders around the continent subside. International High School, they shared all these struggles, they overcome their obstacles together, no matter what was happening in their country or what happened in the past. If we can achieve peace with students from all, all over the world, from people who came from warring countries in our school, why can we not achieve peace worldwide? Uh, Prince Mias is an endorser of the World March and one of the ways that we wanted to welcome the marchers to New York and show support for peace and nonviolence throughout the world was by making this quilt that might be a little worse for the wearer. <laughs> our voice will be heard, even though our voices are rather soft, but it will be heard across the world that we are here for peace. Whereas Council Member Janice Ferrer's the 21st Council District is proud to honor World March for Peace and Nonviolence. <laughs> Well, thank God and thank all of us that we have those who are leading the way and sending a message to those throughout the world. Never such a multiple, huge uh, reception. Thank you very much, New York. Yeah. Yeah.